Today we'll be making gingerbread house inspired brown paper bags. Before we begin, put your name and code on the bottom flap of your bag, but do not open your bag. The first part of this project is going to be to cut the bag so that it looks like it has a roof. We will cut a slanted line on each corner to form a triangle top. It doesn't have to be perfect. Next, make sure you put the side of your bag that has the flap on it toward the bottom. It's hard to see on the video, but the side of the bag that I am using is the completely flat side. The flap is underneath toward the table. For this project, we will be using just white paint to make it look like the frosting that is often used on a gingerbread house. I will start by outlining my roof, but you can decide what kind of a roof you want to have. You could do one with icicles hanging down, maybe add some shingles to it, or maybe add some other drawings or designs. It is up to you to decide. For my roof, I decided to add some icicles by making some short little lines hanging down from the top of the roof line. Continue decorating your bag to make it look even more like a gingerbread house. You can even add fun little details like the heart that I'm adding here. I will also make sure to add some windows and a door and maybe even some stairs so that I can make it look like a real house. Another fun thing to do on a gingerbread house is to make a row of dots like these ones along the top toward the roof. The possibilities are endless. If you decide you want to make stairs, you can start by making a long rectangle across the bottom of your bag. Then make a shorter one sitting right on top of it. Last, you can add your door at the top so that it looks like your door is at the top of the stairs. Here is another example of a different kind of design. This one uses scalloped wavy lines to make the shingles on the roof. You will also notice a nice wreath on the door. Now that our projects have dried, we will flip them over so that we can decorate the back side. First, it is important to make sure that we flip the flap over. Grab the flap and fold it over so that it is covering your other side of the painted paper. Now you should have a completely flat side. Again, you're going to take the flap and you're going to fold it over to the other side that has already been painted. That way you will be able to paint this entire side. Now decorate the other side of your bag. Add whatever windows, roof, or decorations that you feel like adding. Once your bag is completely open, you can open it up and flatten out the bottom and you will see both the front and back of your decorated gingerbread house bag. Have fun creating your gingerbread house brown paper bag. <laughs> 